Hey YouTube, um, this is Seymour to 97 here, and, well, here's a parcel really, um, it came to in the mail, uh, I've got a few packages coming in, um, and I believe it's a GWR, uh, well, was a GWR, um, 57XX pannier tank by Backman Industries and I have well it was originally the Great Western one, Railways one but I bought the British Railway one because I intended to buy the Great Western one but later it was out of stock okay um okay I'm just gonna put the camera down okay I'm back right sorry about this um yeah oh, there she there she is. Wait. Um, there. Right. There she is. Right. As I said, this is the Collier. Oh, she's the Collier design. She's the 57XX class 060 Pannier tank. It's that picture isn't exactly accurate. It's made by Backman. It's made by Backman Industries. Um. Yeah, that the brief history of it. Oh, yeah, sorry about the noise in the background. Um, oh, so I'm not sure if you can read it, but it says once of the most celebrated and well loved of all the G Great Western locomotive classes, the 57XX series of 060 Pannier tanks was outshot over a period of some 21 years in successive lots incorporating detail developments and modifications until it went into well into um betrayal times and it says some more about the history right. okay. i'm just gonna put the camera down again so until uh, you know i won't no it's easy okay this may look really silly but i don't want to put the camera down you guys again okay uh this is from, I bought this on eBay, um, from, I'm not sure what his name, it's like square pants or something, right. and there she is, it's amazing logo, look, great breast, great, not great, British, not great western, he's the British Rail, um, She's got extraordinary detail. She's got her full name is the 57XX5775 BR plain black late crested. And you can see here from the detail that there is the little um what's it regulator or brakes or something. And she's got really nice wheels. She's got a nice fine all here. Dome. Don't she doesn't have sprung off. Right, I'm just gonna get her out. Right. There she is. And you can see now that she's a really nice locomotive. I believe this class of engine, but the Great Western one, was used as duck, which was what duck, the Great Western engine, is based on in the Thomas and Friends um, series. It was series one to, no, series three to five, I think he was featured in, and then Emily kind of took his place. And who's also seen in season 12, which was the CGI one in the episode Best Friends. Um, there's fine detail with like pipings. Um, I'm not sure you can see inside his cab, but there's quite a bit of detail. You know. The coal on the on the roof is quite good, realistic. 
he's got nice coupling hooks here, which is what Batman does really well. And um, what's really good is, can you see that, the little strip under the wheel, or I'm just in front of the wheel? Um, here, this little bar. Yeah, it's it's a bit like a flange on the engine that keeps it on the rails and going around corners. Another coupling hook. That's one thing to say about this model that it doesn't have sprung buffers. Some of the people, some people say that this does have sprung buffers. It doesn't. Yeah, um, it's got nice wheels. I think the wheels are, for, are slightly, um, very slightly kind of painted or something. I'm not sure because they're kind of gr they use the um, coupling rods are cut a more brown than grey. So I'm not sure if they've been painted. But like over painted the grey, it's kind of become a grey brownie patched with a bit of black on it, trying to mix in the colour. Um, it's got extraordinary detail. Um, okay, um, let's go run this thing. Um, I'm gonna cut now to the layout. Okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, I don't have a proper layout yet. I have some coaches prepared down the line there. I have a lot of my other engines, which I'll do reviews on, and the rolling stock. I have a strip line, which is like a little test route, because I've not got that much track. Um, right, she's on the rails. Flat and Scott's in the background there. Yeah, you can, as you can see, she's a very nice loco or sitting on the track. Uh, sorry about that little noise, that's me putting in the power. Yeah, um, alright, let's think you go. Oops, sorry, she's come off the rails, I didn't put her on properly. I think she's on now. Okay, let's go. As you can see, she's very smooth. She's a great runner. That, yeah, you, these are James's express coaches from the James set, which I have from Hornby, but my James doesn't work anymore after a accident because the Thomas locos are quite old, so I had them when I was younger. Um, but yeah, as you can see, she's a really nice locum. She's a really nice loco. Yeah, she's really nice. You can see her wheels turn really smoothly. Um. Oh, sorry, right. Yeah, she's a really nice loco. I don't know what else to say, but um, probably. Okay. Um, probably out of with the unboxing which was probably about a, a 7 out of 10. I'm sorry, Batman, but the packaging would have been easier if, like on a Hornby box, it had the little thing, little hole at the back of the box, where, I don't feel just get it, doesn't have a hole at all, look. It's fresh clean. Um, and... For about the model, um, I think detailing, I think she is an absolute beauty to behold, I have to say. Probably my most detailed model I have at the moment. And then the Flying Scotsman. You can't disagree, that isn't a beautiful model. So I'm giving a 10 out of 10 for detail. For uh, performance... I'm going to give her a 9 out of 10, as sometimes her little flanges do make her, they don't really stop her from bumping, so if there was a bump she would bounce like that and then come off the rails and tip sideways like that. Let's put her back on. 
Oh, just come off again. There we go. Um, and I think for hauling, she is probably, for these two coaches, isn't much of a test. But I think for the hauling, she'll probably be about an eight. As her wheel, as as we saw her wheels, oops, turn really quite fast. Then she's very smooth. She's a very smooth engine. So I think that overall, she is a very good model. So I'm gonna say, this is Seymour to 97. Signing out.